it's Christy, and I'm here with a box for a boy, age two to four. I can't wait to show you what's in it, but I wanna tell you what I did last night. We had a packing party at my house. We've been having quite a few of those, and some four, uh, four ladies came over to help me. They're in their 20s, very generous to give up their time, and it's really becoming a regular thing for them to come and help me. And last night, we actually built shoe boxes instead of um, doing the prep work and they were so helpful and i just was reminded afterward about how uh, doing this is building the kingdom of god that's why we're all doing it is to reach the world for christ and these ladies um can be a part of it when they come over to my house and uh, do this it's it's exciting to think about passing down what we're doing to the next generation and getting them excited about building the kingdom of god too so thank you guys who are watching and i hope you're inspired to do packing parties too and invite people that don't even know about operation christmas child they will love learning well here's my checkoff sheet it was on the top and uh, we've got pretty much all the boxes covered. Let's see what's in the box. This is the spiral notebook. Oh, and here, attached with static electricity, is the how to use a soap saver printable. It's in multiple languages. Uh, if you're using a soap saver, it might be useful for the receiving child to have this so they know exactly how to use it. You can print it off on blessingsinissuebox.com. This is his full-size backpack. I'm trying to send a full-size backpack in all my boxes, even the toddlers. So I was excited to be able to fit that one in and I didn't roll it up. It got, the flaps got turned in and then the bottom like this and it fit well on the top of the shoe box. I'm finding that with several of my shoe boxes working out that way. He has a stuffed giraffe that is really cute. Um, there was so much in this box that I ended up needing to go a, in a, to a small stuffed animal, but I think this little boy will love everything in the box and enjoy playing with the small giraffe. This is a really cute um, Jeep. I love the retro colors and it's all inside. It, inside the windows, you can see the seats. It's very detailed and I love this brand that I found on Amazon. If you're interested, let me know and I'll put a link to it in below. This is his, it's almost like a camouflage, but it's a tie-dye t-shirt, size um, five for him. Found that at the Gap Factory outlet. I love shopping there. Here's his foldable Frisbee, which just came out of the pouch. Let's see if it, it can go back in or if it'll escape. There we go. These are nice to fit in a box for every age. They um, are good for uh, Frisbee, but they're also good for making a using a fan if you're hot. They make a fan. He has his green scissors and glue stick. His toothbrush. I did have two in here, but I just could not get... It, the lid to close with the second one. So he's gonna have one with a cover. And here's his crayons, 24 pack of Swell crayons. Let's see, I'll put it like that. And then his, he has some underwear and socks. Oh, socks in the, his box, along with a ball and his cup that I get from Ikea. They're a great price there. He has two markers. I love to put these thicker Crayola markers. Oh, this is crazy art. I'm using the Crayola right now are really on low price. So um, I've been getting a lot of those too, but I've got two of those for him. And well, his flip flops, I'll take those out. I love being able to include um, some shoes for this age group. Actually, I'm trying to do it for every age group, but I can't always do it, but I really do like having flip-flops in a box. Here's his spoon, again, for, from Ikea. Most countries in the world use just a spoon, and so I'm just sending the spoon instead of the spoon, fork, and knife. I'm just trying to maximize my space. In this jungle drawstring bag is some animal blocks. We have a zebra, 
and an elephant. And you can see how they fit together. This is an elephant with a tiger. And that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to be stacking blocks. And there's two more, another tiger and another tiger. So this, these will be able to be stacked multiple different ways. And I think will be uh, really fun for it. It's like a safari thing that, that I'm trying to do. What's it called when you go on a safari, but you're not um, shooting animals? It's a different kind of safari when that's the kind that I want this to be like. He has a mustache wish, whistle, which are so much fun for every age. And the pencil sharpener the, with the closed top, for, which is what we use for um, the toddlers. And also it has a big hole for the size pencils that we include. Um, on this side, he has binoculars along with the directions, the little cleaning cloth. I'll show you what they are. And a nice velvet drawstring bag. And they are a turquoise color. I couldn't even remember what color they were gonna be. And they're nice, um, very nice quality. Really, I could use them for bird watching or anything like that. I'd much rather send something that is a good quality than something that is cheap just because it's a young, young child. I think it's gonna be sturdy and last for a long time. So this is the soap saver that Michelle made. Michelle runs our website, blessingsinissuebox.com, and we're good friends. We got together to do Operation Christmas Child. Oh gosh, um, I think it was just over a year ago. And we have become good friends. You can just barely stick this Dove soap in and it's in the plastic container. And for those of you that don't know, if you don't have it in the original wrapper, which usually takes up a lot of room, you need to put it in a baggie. And these can be um, uh, rinsed out and squeezed and hung up. And this is a fabric that will dry very quickly. So Michelle made those and I really appreciate it. This is a little Ziploc bag. It's just the right size to hold the nail clippers directions and a couple of nail files. And here's his uh, lip balm and school supplies in here. He has a multi pen, which I bought, bought on bulk. I recommend that you can find it on walmart.com or Amazon. And a big eraser so we don't have a choking hazard here and multiple of these triangular tri ticonderoga pens. And again, they're pre-sharpened. I know I sound like a broken record when I say sharpen your pencils because it's very hard for them to sharpen the pencils from scratch with just a handheld sharpener. So that will help um, go a long way to get them uh, able to get, use their school supplies. And here's a rubber band. I don't know how that fell in there. And a comb. And the God Loves You coloring book. Lots of different animals. It's so, so cute. There's a jungle right away that goes with the safari theme on the first page. And you can print out from blessingsinashoebox.com all of these free printables. He has multiple writing pads in here that have the lines like for very beginner writers this is um one two three of those and i think yeah this one is a sketch pad so he has a lot of paper in here which i love including for coloring and for drawing in school Here's his blankie, um, little lovey with the ribbon that Michelle makes. And on, on the back, it's suns that are embossed on the yellow fabric, minky fabric. And it has, um, you know, safari type animals with the elephant and the tiger. So cute. 
and uh, his washcloth. I like putting the flat things on the bottom. It helps close the lid and it squishes down. His bandana and stickers. These are several sheets of stickers with animals and bugs. And we've gotten to the end of the box, but we sure did get a lot in, and I really appreciate the girls' hard work. Um, yesterday, I can't believe we got all this in. Um, these boxes are really full and fun and colorful, lots of good texture, um, and I love this giraffe stuffed animal. Um, thank you for watching, everybody. Remember, we're building the kingdom of God in every box represents not even just one person who may receive Jesus Christ as a savior, but also a whole community because it can spread to the family. I know that's what I did when I was first a Christian, 12 years old. I couldn't wait to get home from camp and tell my family about my salvation experience. And it spread to the family, to the community. It, it really can make a difference when just one person hears the gospel. They can't wait to share it with others. So thank you, everybody. Uh, I have another box coming up soon. God bless you and bye for now.